What's going on everybody? It's Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to talk to you guys today about Infamous Second Son. Sony Sucker Punch's AAA title is going to be released on PlayStation 4 only on March 21st. Now we all know that Titanfall has been released on the Xbox One and the PC as of March 11th and it's come out to pretty good reviews. I haven't heard too much negative about it and so these two games are going to be going head to head for the sales number of March. I don't know how big of a dent Infamous is going to make being that you know everything out in the media right now is about Titanfall and about how amazing it is but I've got to say something. I've watched video game footage of this game. I've seen you know some let's plays of the portion of the game that Sucker Punch has allowed these major video game outlets to play. Uh, IGN, GameSpot, and the game looks amazing. I can't say too much more than that. It looks very fun and it looks riveting. It's something different. Uh, and obviously I'm not the only one who thinks that uh, it seems that gaming insiders feel the same way. This article is on GamingBolt.com. It reads Infamous Second Son leading Titanfall in social, social metrics. EA is sorry for not bringing Titanfall to the PlayStation 4, and also Titanfall for the Xbox 360 will run at a measly 30 frames per second, according to industry insider Pete Dodd. With the release of Respawn Entertainment's Titanfall on the PC and the Xbox One, you would think that Microsoft's Xbox One would begin the counterattack on the PS4. However, as the NPD's February report indicates, there are already signs of the sales gap diminishing between the two consoles. But that doesn't mean Sony doesn't have its own big games for March, namely Sucker Punch's Infamous Second Son. Industry insider Pete Dodd, also known as NeoGAF member Famous Mortimer, said, there's plenty of excitement for the open world title. Quote, don't sleep on Infamous. The social metrics of that game are through the roof. Also, MLB The Show rarely breaks a million units, but it sells hardware, unquote. On being asked to explain the metrics, Dodd listed YouTube numbers, YouTube views, Twitter mentions, and pre-orders. He cites a Second Son video that was published on March 7th that has already received 4.7 million views. To find anything close to that on Titanfall, you'd have to go all the way back to October. People give a fuck about Infamous, he says. I'm not speaking about quality in the slightest. I have and absolutely love Titanfall. I'm just saying, and the person who clued me into this is very much with Microsoft. But don't sleep on Infamous. Titanfall is dominating the media, but Infamous is dominating things where consumers make the choice, like YouTube, Twitter, etc and not just editors. When told that Rise, Son of Rome's live action TV spot has the same number of views as Infamous's video Dodd responded that, quote, the same amount of views since October versus the same amount of views from two weeks ago? You don't think there's a difference there? Someone with marketing knowledge needs to get up in this bitch. They have this shit down to a science right now. I'm not one of those people, but I've talked to them and they all say don't sleep on Infamous and I gotta agree with him, Infamous looks amazing. He also revealed that EA are apparently sorry to Sony for not bringing Titanfall to the PS3 and the PS4. Quote, Sony also used his own metrics in a meeting with EA last week and showed them what they would have made with the PS3 and the PS4. The money EA took from Microsoft didn't even begin to cover it. The EA guys went over the math and agreed. EA is in full, we are fucking sorry, Sony mode currently. Also, Titanfall Xbox 360 is 30 frames per second. Which, if true, is absolutely terrible news for Xbox 360 owners. A first-person shooter that's online at 30 frames per second is going to cause major issues. Maybe that's why Microsoft hasn't revealed any footage of the game. And if that is true, I feel bad for all the 360 guys out there. You guys leave a comment let me know what you think about this news. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.